Assalamualaikum. My name is Senabiti Ashraf. Meet my amazing teammates, Muhammad Dania Azizi bin Muhammad Salehuddin, Muhammad Ifran Nafis bin Umar, and Muhammad Daniel bin Muhammad Sahih. We are the four Einstein, and we will be presenting two topics under application of differentiation. The first one is related rates, where we will be focusing on rate of change, and the second one is applied maximum and minimum problems. What is differentiation? Differentiation is a method of finding the derivative or rate of change of a function. There are a few applications of differentiation. They are related rate, maxima and minima, determining increasing and decreasing function, loose theorem, and mean value theorem. For the topic 1, me and my friend Muhammad Daniel Azizi bin Muhammad Saluddin will be guiding you through related rates. Before we get to the questions, let us first know about the related rates. In differential calculus, related rates involve two or more variables that changes at the same time, possibly at different rate. The rate of change is usually with respect to time. Now, let us go to the objective of the question. In the related rate problems, the idea is to compute the rate of change of one quantity in terms of the rate of change of another quantity, which may be more easily measured. The procedure is to find an equation that relates the two quantities and then use the chain rule method or implicit method. The radius of the base of a right circular cone is decreasing at the rate of 4 cm per minute and the height is increasing at the rate of 6 cm per minute. At what rate is volume changing when the height is 12 cm and the radius is 6 cm? For this solution, we will use implicit differential method to solve this problem. Okay, let's move to the first step to solve this problem. The first one is we need to know and write the formula for volume of coin. So, what is the formula for volume of coin? The formula is V equal to 1 over 3 by R power of 2 H. Second step is we need to identify two things which is the given information and the unknown information. For the given information, the first one, the question mentioned the radius is decreasing at the rate of 4 cm per minute. That's mean we will write it dr over dt equal to negative 4. Why we put negative in 4? It is because the question is said decreasing, so we need put negative in 4. The meaning of dr over dt is actually the first derivative of radius we will respect to time that means it show how radius change with times okay another one of the given information the height is increasing at the rate of 6 cm so we will write it dh over dt equal to 6 cm so let's move to the unknown information at what rate is the volume changing when the height is 12 cm and the radius is 6 cm so we will write it as dv over dt equal to we don't know the answer so we just put the question mark and when the height is 12 cm radius equal to 6 cm next after we have successfully identified what type of formula to use for the cone we need to differentiate the formula using the product rule as shown in the slide after the differentiation is completed we need to assign the value of the radius and height into the formula. Fifth step is assign the value for the rate. So we assign dr over dt is negative 4 and dh over dt is 6. So we get the answer is negative 576 plus 216. The last step is we need to get the final answer. After we solve that, we get the negative 360. And then, with negative 360 will be divided by 3 and multiplied with pi. So, the final answer is negative 120 pi. Thus, if we know how the variables are related and how fast one of them is changing, then we can figure out how fast the other one is changing. As for topic 2, 
Me and Muhammad Daniel bin Muhammad Said will be guiding you through applied maximum and minimum problems. You might be wondering, what is actually applied minimum and maximum problems? Well, it is the process of finding maximum or minimum values, which is called as optimization. There are many application problems in calculus which involves function to find maximum or minimum values. In real life, Applied maximum and minimum problems is usually used to maximize the profit of a company or to minimize the cost for creating a particular object. However, in calculus, it is to calculate the highest and the lowest point of a curve in a graph or to determine its turning point. Why do we have to learn this applied maximum and minimum problems? Well, first and foremost, it is to increase understanding regarding applications of different nations. Other than that, it is to understand applied maximum and minimum problems. And last but not least, is to be able to solve the question by using the suitable and correct formula. A closed rectangular container with a square base is to have a volume of 2,250 cm3. The material for the top and bottom of the container will cost RM2 per cm2 and the material for the side will cost RM3 per cm2. Find the minimum cost of constructing the box. Moving on to solving the questions. As you can see on the slide, we have a fixed prices for each surface, two ringgit for the top surface, two ringgit for the bottom surface, and three ringgit for the side surfaces. It is also stated in the stimuli that the volume of the cuboid is 2250 cm cube. Once we extracted the important information, we can proceed to find the equation for cost. To do so, we must determine how many top, bottom, and side surfaces that we have. As you can see, for the top and bottom surfaces, they are in square shape. Therefore, they share the same variable which is x. The area of a square will create x square. So combining both top and bottom surfaces will create 2x square. Meanwhile, for the sides, we have 4 rectangular sides. x cm for the length and y cm for the width. So the area for a rectangle is xy. Combining all four will create 4xy. So for the equation for cos, we need to multiply the area of the surface with the price. And that will create the final equation for cost, which is 4x squared plus 12xy. Moving on to the next step, we need to write the formula for the volume of cuboid. Once we have that, we need to express x in terms of y. So since volume is x squared y and the volume of cuboid as stated in the stimuli is 2250, so x squared y equals to 2250. That will make y equals to 2250 over x squared. Once we have that, we need to substitute y in cos. So the equation for cos is for x squared plus 12xy substitute y will create equation for cost which is for x square plus 27,000 over x. The next step is we need to differentiate the new equation of cos c that we already get from the substitutions of y. The first thing that we need to do is rearrange the equation. So it's become 4x squared plus 27,000 x to the power of negative 1. After the arrangement, we can try to differentiate the equation. Bring the power of 2 from the variable x and place it in front of x. Then it will be 4 times 2 which is 8. For the variable x, X, we need to minus x power which is 2 with 1 so the new power for variable x is 1 repeat the same steps for 27,000 x to the power of negative 1 and at the end we will get 8x minus 27,000 x to the power of negative 2 we can rearrange the equation so it will be more neat and nice the next step is we need to let our first derivative equation equals to 0 the reason why we perform this step is because we want to find 
find the value for variable x. Just take our first derivative equation, make it equal to zero, and do the rest of calculation. As a result, we will get the value of x, which is 15 centimeter. When we get the value of x, we need to do the second derivative test. The second derivative test is done to prove or check whether the value of x that we get is minimum or maximum value. Bear in mind that if our second derivative is greater than zero, then it will be a minimum value. Otherwise, it will be defined as maximum value. So for this step, just take our first derivative test, which is 8x minus 27,000 over x squared. Rearrange the equation and just differentiate like how we did earlier. And as a result, we will get 8 plus 54,000 over x cubed. To check whether the value is maximum or minimum, we take the value of variable x and substitute the value in our second derivative equation. For our case, our x is 15 cm. Substitute 15 cm in the equations of 8 plus 54,000 over x cubed. Just use our calculator and we will get 24 cm. Since 24 cm is greater than 0, so 15 cm is a minimum value. Since we already have the value of x, we can now find the value of y. Just substitute the value of x in the equations of y. The equation of y is 2250 over x squared. Substitute the value of x in the equation and we will get the value of y which is 10 cm. And the last step is to find the minimum cost, which is the final answer for our problem. We can just substitute 15 cm back in our first derivative equation, which is for x squared plus 27,000 over x. Just use the calculator and you will get RM2700 as the final answer. So, in order to construct the box that is to have a volume of 2,250 with the top and bottom and side price at RM2 and RM3 respectively, we need at least RM2700 as the minimum cost. So, our case close. Therefore, identifying the right formula and accomplishing both first and second derivative correctly will lead to a solid answer, a maximum or a minimum cost.